Thanks for watching Weekly Word. We appreciate uh, you being with us uh, today and hope that you'll stay on and watch the song at the end, a praise song that we hope as well will encourage you and inspire you as you go through the rest of this week. I wanna talk to you today about fear. The Bible says in 1 John 4 verse 18 that, uh, that love drives out fear, that perfect love drives out fear. You know, fear is an interesting thing. It is time that fear can be helpful. Uh, fear can be helpful if you're running from a wild animal uh, or you're in the midst of a fire. That kind of fear can cause you to respond and you can respond often in the correct way. I always joke with my wife when we're hiking in Colorado. I say, honey, if we see a bear, don't worry if I run past you because I'm just going for help. Think about that. But anyway, what I really do, it really fear though, often shows its dark side uh, in our lives. Uh, because really what fear is about is fear drives me to think about me and me only. Uh, fear causes me to wanna protect myself or to preserve myself and to preserve something that I want. In other words, it leads to the bad side when I'm fearful, that someone's fearful that someone else at work is uh, getting noticed and they're not gonna get the promotion. That can show a dark side by causing us maybe to compromise our integrity and our ethics, do things we shouldn't do to try to get ahead so that we can get what we want because our fear of being left out, our fear of getting passed over. Sometimes when we fear that our desires are not going to be fulfilled, what we want, our plans are not going to be fulfilled, someone standing in the way maybe, well, that sometimes can turn to a dark side and we begin to get pushy and abusive, trying to get somebody else out of the way that's standing in the way of what we want. Let's just be honest, fear most of the time is thinking about me, thinking about how I can protect myself. Love drives out fear, and the reason it does is because love is the opposite of that. Love thinks of others. That's what the scripture teaches us over and over again. That's why it tells us that God is love. Aren't you glad that God has thought of you by giving us his son, Christ Jesus, to die on the cross for us that we might have access to God the Father through Christ the Son? Jesus thought not of himself, but Paul says he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross, out of his love for you. Perfect love drives out fear because it gets my attention off of me and on to somebody else. But you know, really, love needs an ally. Love needs a partner, a companion. And the partner for love is trust. Trust in what? I've gotta trust God to watch over me, take care of me, that he's the one who's going to protect me, that he's the one that is going to preserve me, that he's the one who's going to look out for me. And I can trust him, and you can trust him. Love with a partner of trust is a key to a life that is free of constant fear. The psalmist says in Psalm 56, when I am afraid, I will trust in you, God. In God, whose word I praise, if God I trust, I will not be afraid. And then he asks this question, what can mortal man do to me? What can mortal man do to me if God is watching over me and protecting me? Don't live in fear because fear is just thinking about us, about me, the big me. Instead, love drives it out. Trust drives it out. Trust in him and love others. And that's a far better way of living than living in fear. May God bless you. I'll see you next week. My chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior has ransomed me. And like a flood, His mercy reigns unending love amazing grace amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me and 
And I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear. And grace my fears relieved. How pray just did that grace appear the hour I first believed my chains are gone I've been set free my God my Savior has ransomed me and like a blood his mercy reigns Unending love, amazing grace. When we've been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to see. Oh, then when we first